updates, steam migrations, and just the general want to do something else has brought us to this point, guys. Hi, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where things have blown up. Ah, so that right there is the first flight of a new um, career mode thing yes language uh, and we are doing the first flight now this is just a nice simple one uh, I stuck a load of solid boosters underneath I fired the next load up in order I got us up to like high altitude somewhere it was what 30 40 kilometers something like that uh, got some science and brought us home safely and just to prove it here's me finding the science uh, going outside doing an EVA going oh look at the curvature over there and then we've got an awful long time to wait uh, so we're gonna warp through this and in fact we're gonna do better than warping through this we're gonna cut to this glorious bit of uh, hardware assisted landing awesome that was brilliant nice little parachute action there we get back to the space center and we have oh what was it 14 bits of science um, so yeah, that, that went well. We go into the, uh, the, the, the science depot and go, well, there's only one choice, let's take that. And um, yeah, awesome. Have a look at the other things we need to do. Uh, so we're heading straight for like sustainable f space flight. I want the solar panels, I want the couplers, I want decent um, parachutes and things like that. So we're gonna head back into the uh, VAB and this this is what the first one looked like. It was good, but we can do better. We need to get it up into like high orbit. So what I'm going to do is modify it slightly and create this, the building upon success. Uh, the first vessel was of course called maybe if we're lucky. Um, I'm gonna go through and make I don't know, sli slightly strange names for all my vessels. I think it, uh, I think this game warrants coming up with decent names for your vessels. You put a lot of time and a lot of effort into these things. And talking of time and effort, what we're going to do this time is just sit on the launch pad and um, do, do some science. Because, you know, we can get a little bit of science from the launch pad and not actually waste any uh, flight components. So after doing that, we're literally just going to go straight back in for another launch of the building upon success. And after the ridiculously long loading screens, uh, we're back here. Now I've made a mistake straight away um, and I think I probably recognize it almost immediately. Now if you remember from the first flight, these side uh, boosters pop almost immediately. Sorry, there's a little bit of a delay there. Uh, and I'm like, wait, no no we we can do better than this so after messing around with it for a little bit i'm like no no let's just revert this get back to the vab um i think all i do is literally just throw some um support strut not support struts metal girders on them like this and i'm like right job done um there we go building upon success as the ship is called so it shall be and with a system like that i think we can fly up quite high now we, we've seen what happens here uh, we've even got the couplers now, so I, I, I don't think we really need... Do we, do we need to see the first, first staging? It, it's just seconds away, so let's watch the first bit of staging happen. Pop! Glories of science. We carry on up. I think we're going to go up to about 50 kilometers by the look of it, and we're going to do some... Is this orbital? So we're, st we're still in the upper atmosphere, so we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. As you can tell by me just going, no, 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 no. Um, until eventually we, we hit uh, what, what is designated as space. Uh, and there we go, it was somewhere about 90 kilometers we found space. So now I'm just going to go around and like spam click all my, all my sciences. We're, we're going to bring it all back home because we're in orbit round curve and there's no point just transmitting stuff um, and then going back. But let's have a look at our, our first like seriously, well it's not an orbital vessel but up in space vessel. Uh, the building upon success. Yes, technological marvel that it is. Um, literally fuel tanks and a, and, a, and a rocket. What more do you need? And we're going to spend a moment to just be like, ah, oh, this looks nice. Yeah, rotate the ship. Yeah, but anyway, with, with that, we're going to follow the old adage, what goes up must come down. A lightly powered landing and a small moment of panic as my shuttle falls over from quite a large height there. But it's all right. Everything's fine. The science is safe. We're going to get back and... 57 science well 38 from there 57 in the bank we're gonna have a quick look over no we don't want that or do we want that i don't know we're we're, we're and ahhing I'm, I'm thinking maybe we want the decouplers at this point 
Um, or the solid boosters, I'm not sure. Radial decouplers are the way. Solid boosters are what we're after next. Got the science for that. And indeed, got the science for everything on that first tier there. So, woohoo! Uh, you'll notice that we've got the electricity at the bottom there. Uh, it also comes with Keythane, which, well, the Keythane Detector, which is one of my, one of the mods I've installed. Oh, um, I suppose we should run through what mods I've got installed at some point. Um, I've got like the Kerbal Attachment System, Kerbal Alarm Clock, we've got Keythane. Um, I came over here and started playing around with planes, but I realised this was far too early on in the, the game to be doing anything decent. So what we're going to do is come out of that little bit of footage and go back into the VAB, because I literally all I did was throw some fuel tanks on and go, oh wait, I've got no wings, this is no good. Uh, I have got little winglets, but I had absolutely no, well I think I've got no control, I didn't, I didn't go and test it, I just went, oh look, these things don't pivot. Uh, so what we're going to build here is um well uh, uh, do we want to watch this building no building takes forever let's just jump to the end and show you this beauty the hexaboom as soon as i've learned how to type um yeah literally uh, it was a six-way explosion so there we go the hexaboom um and we got off to the launch pad jeb's looking good so if we can three two one Oh, that was a little bit off on the count there. I will try better next time. So we are orbit bound for this one, hopefully. I, I, that's at least where I want to take my science from because so far we've done like, you know, a, a, a rubbish, didn't quite even get out of the atmosphere flight. We've done a, a nice, I have sent this up and gone well out of the atmosphere flight. So I, I think orbit is a, is a, is a good, good target to aim for. Uh, first stage went well and, and we're down into basic rocketry here. Um, I am quite seriously lamenting the fact that I don't have any uh, fuel lines at this point because an asparagus would go wonderful. But there we go, second staging, I'm down to one singular liquid fuel rocket thing. Uh, I have gone upwards far too much so I'm going to add a, a, a manoeuvre node in, manoeuvre node. And, um, <coughs> circularize my burn basically we're gonna have to wait until we're up at to the high point of orbit which looking at all these readouts isn't all that long indeed i am there right now so yeah looking down at Kerbin, we're gonna throttle up to full point at my maneuver node watch these this nice little dropping gauge on the right that we now have i know the gauge has always been there but the little readout wasn't always there it, I, I quite like what they've done with this in the the 3.5 no it's not three three 35.5? I don't know, whatever, whatever, whatever version we're on now, I've probably got the number completely wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah, and as you can see, this is a tiny, tiny, tiny ship because I, I had to sling it into orbit. Uh, and there, that's where we're heading next. So, yeah, maybe not in this tiny, tiny ship. Um, I, I totally overcooked the flight. Um, we're, we're up in, like, a massive orbit here. I, I really didn't want to do that. Um, but yeah, there, there we go, we're, we're up. We've got a lot of fuel left over, and this is where I was thinking, hey, this might be able to go a little bit further than I, than I originally intended. Um, so we're gonna collect some science. Uh, it's, it's all just standard, like, low orbit stuff. I say low orbit, we're, we're quite high up in orbit. And as always, we're gonna get a little look at our ship and the, and the, the planet behind us, do some science, get back in and think about where we're going to land this sucker. Uh, now I did try and aim for the uh, the spaceport at this point um, and in fact we're, we're going to possibly go round the, 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 the slide round the uh, slide round the orbit that I'm going to do here. You can see the maneuver node I'm setting up. Uh, that that's all I want to do. So we're going to go drop until we're uh, just coming back into atmosphere. And before Jeb even really knows what's going back, uh, going on, he's done a full circuit around the planet uh, over there on the horizon. I know it's really dark, guys, but you know there's two sides to a planet. Can't really do anything about it. We see some mountains, and we're just about to splash down. I can't remember whether I was short or, or too far for the Kerbal Space Center, but I didn't quite get it. Is is the the. The, the the upshot of it there i was landing in ocean and in fact it's so dark i just i can't see i can't see at some point i will learn how to uh, sort my orbits out so that we are constantly in sun because that that is by far the best place to put us down and even with that mighty parachute we managed to break our fuel tank and engine so um thoughts there for the future add more add more um parachutes 
So we've got a massive whack of 35 science there, and for some reason we're just staring at that. Awesome. So we're going to go into the science and straight for electrics. I can guarantee you we're going straight for electrics, because all the others, whilst they're good, do not give us the um, added torque control. Uh, like One of the things I really hate about this small pod here is the fact that it's just like it's got no power it, it like you go into the dark side of the planet and you are stuffed all right well there's a lot of uh, mucking around with building here and whilst i would love to show you it all there is a lot of stuff that i want to pack into this episode i mean you may be able to tell by the way that we're already two flights into it so what we're gonna do is just skip on by and show you this vessel this is the hot skipper this is literally just so I can go get a little bit more science to get my next tier. I, I think at this point I'm like six science short. Now I could have just sent a Kerbal out in a rover. I could have um, like literally just walked out onto the launch pad and done a surface sample. Because up until this point, I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, I had neglected to do any surface samples. This is my main problem with playing Kerbal is I just... I neglect to do some like serious serious bits of science so I end up just the, the trailing a little bit of behind on almost all, everything it used to be the crew reports I never I never remember to do crew reports because for some reason you know the capsules weren't important but now I seem to remember the crew reports and the EVA but I just don't do surface samples because obviously what we're landing on is important isn't important it's what we're flying through but anyway, after that little bit of waffle, we've done a full parabolic arc, and we're coming down towards the, well, it's grasslands, midlands, whatever, whatever Kerbal calls this. It is grasslands according to the void biome at the uh, readout at the top right there. Uh, and once again, we come down so incredibly fast that hardware-assisted braking is on order, and we lose some of our science, which is like all sorts of rubbish. But thankfully everything else completely self-destructs so we're not dealing with any uh, debris or anything. So goo and um, ev uh, crew report away. We go outside, we do a little bit of an EVA walk. Um, I take a surface sample. No, in fact first we plant the flag. I I'm probably not even going to do the surface sample. And we call it Hawaii oh, Hawaii. Oh, uh, and three missions in. This is my first flag, really, like 500 metres away from the, the thing. Oh, I don't know how far away, like 15 kilometres or something away from the, the spaceport. I, I feel embarrassed about that, guys. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I could have done better. I should have done better. And indeed, we are going to do better next time. Because there we go. You can see we're getting the, uh, uh, the electrics. There we go. We're going to get the electrics. And I'm going to sign off now, guys. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you've liked the new short short episode format, please let me know. If you want me to go back to the 20-minute episode format, again, let me know. I do have extra footage so we can find out what's going on. But until, next, until that time, guys, bye!